get into Claude or Gemini or, and it will know then a lot about the data set and it can start giving you advice or even generating code as to how to summarize that or how to analyze it. Now, here's the problem. In this particular case, we've got a, and this is why summary is quite good, by the way. If there's a numeric variable, easy peasy, it, it gives you the sort of um, uh, parameters of that of the numeric variable. If there's a, a categorical variable or a factor, it will also tell you what the factors are. And that's useful, right? Um, so that this is a, a good first step. You can also um, ask for the structure of the data set. So if I do str mt cards, for example, and this is also useful. It tell, you know, when you cut and paste this into R, it's telling it this is a numeric variable, blah, 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 blah. But, and I, I use this as well sometimes, but here's a small caveat. In this data set, our carburetors, carb over here, it's down as a numeric variable. Now, when we do our analysis, we're probably gonna change that to a factor. We may or may not. You don't always need to, but we may want to. We don't know from this little summary that's got that's come here from the structure, we don't know what all the possible values of the factors are, right? And if that's the case, you can do unique empty cars, uh, a dollar sign carb, and it will then say, you know, the unique values for this particular variable are those. And so what I would do under these circumstances is I'd take any of these variables that are currently down as a numeric, or it could be, a, it could, might be a text, and a uh, string variable where we think that there are certain unique values that apply to it. So we can think of it as a factor. And I'd ask for the unique values and cut and paste those into your, uh, into your prompt uh, in, on the web page as well. So that your large language model knows as much about the data set as possible before we, before we do anything else. Got it? Okay, of course you do. Let's keep going. I'm gonna have a look at Gemini and Claude and ChatGPT and look at, and each of them have got certain strengths and we'll talk about that. Here's a prompt that I might have started with, right? I've said, um, here is the structure of a data set that I want to analyze. I want you to make suggestions about what kind of analysis or data visualization I might be able to do with this data, provide some explanatory notes as to how best to approach this data set. And then I've pasted in that summary that I got from RSGDO. So it's summarized Iris and it's provided all of this information. So Gemini now has a lot of information about the structure of the data set and it can get going and start thinking about it and start tuning out results. Now, you'll notice I didn't just ask it to provide me with code. I think that that's a mistake. You wanna build up to getting the code itself. I think the best use case of these language models is to have a conversation with the language model about your data set. Ask it, what is the best approach here? What is the best practice with respect to cleaning this data, manipulating it? What kind of data visualization do you suggest? It'll come up with a